it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing a Q&A all about my lip injections. I got them done a few weeks ago so I thought it was about time to sit down and just answer some questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Just quickly I want to show you guys what my lips actually look like because they're kind of far away from each other. So this is a little close up. Yay! I never thought that I would be sitting here talking about my lips and lip injections because I honestly never thought I would end up getting them because I was so scared. I'm so horrified of needles, um, but I can happily say that it was completely worth it and I actually love my lips now, which is something I never thought I would say either. The first question is, did you do it to fit into the Kylie Jenner trend? And I actually think that's a really good question because I feel like ever since Kylie got her lips done, a lot of other people have done it as well, but I would never change the look of my face or body or anything just to fit into a trend. I don't necessarily follow trends, I just do what makes me happy. I know that's so cliche to say, but basically one side of my lip was really big and the other side was really thin, so I just wanted to even them out, give them a natural plump and make them look naturally juicy. And that's exactly what I got. Okay, so let's just state the obvious with a question that everyone is asking and that is, did it hurt getting your lip injections? Mm-hmm. Okay, well my story is kind of different to everyone else's. Um, I looked up a lot of people's Q&As and like lip injection stories and stuff on YouTube just so I like, knew if it hurt or not because I really am a wimp and I just can't stand needles, I can't stand pain. So I was looking them up for ages, for months and months, and everyone was saying, oh, it doesn't really hurt, like on a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 2. Hmm, different story for me. So I was going in like, yes, this isn't going to hurt. First of all, I got the dental block. So that is four needles in the gum, so two at the top and two down the bottom. And everyone said that it didn't hurt getting dental blocks, but God bless, they hurt more than the other 20 needles around my lips. So basically, I got them in and the first needle, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to faint, I'm going to faint. Oh, I feel sick and I was just being a big drama queen because I just felt so horrible. I think it was because I was really nervous though, so... What the lady did is she just like pulled me back on the chair and I just was like leaning basically like this and after like 10 or so minutes I was better and I had some lollies and stuff to bring my sugar levels up and then I sat back up, got in for the second one and I was like oh god I feel sick again, went back down, literally happened every single time for that dental block, it was horrible. But before you guys get scared or anything, it only lasts for like 20 seconds. I'm not condoning lip injections or anything but if you guys are thinking of getting them, it doesn't last that long, so it's fine. When the numbing fluid really kicked in, I was like, okay, I'm ready. And when I was trying to talk, I was like, blah, blah, blah. you really can't move your mouth at all. And then she started putting the uh, needles in for the actual lip injection. And it's basically just like sugar going into your lip. It's nothing crazy. And there was probably about like 30 or 20 needle needles into my lip. And by the end of it, I was just like, <laughs> like I literally couldn't feel a thing but at the start you could really feel the pricks going into your lips it felt like kind of little ant bites it wasn't as bad as the dental block do you like the final result or do you want to get them bigger I am obsessed with the final result right now I got one mil in my lips and the lady that was doing them said one mil is natural and two mils is like a noticeably lip injection job so I'm really happy with the amount that I got and how she did it I will leave her details down below and where I got them done and stuff just in case you guys are interested but she just did an amazing job and made them look so natural, so no, I don't want them bigger. Um, when I first got them done, they like were so swollen and I was like, oh my god, my lips. And I couldn't leave the house for like three days because that's how long the swollenness kind of lasts for. My English is just great, should I? But it has been, as I said, about two weeks and they're finally feeling normal. They feel super soft like normal lips. Someone asked in the questions, does it feel different to kiss? And it doesn't, they just feel squishy and normal. And natural. Roughly how much did it cost to get your lip injections? So the place that I went had a, like a deal so I think it was like $400 for the lip injections but most places are quite similar they do vary um, up to like a thousand dollars to get your lips done it can cost a lot of money depending on where you go um, but yeah it lasts about six months and then you've got to go for your top up I think for some people it can last longer or a little bit less so I guess we'll have to see how long mine lasts for but I definitely will be going back and I definitely am dreading the day that I have to get more needles in my fucking face. Oh. The next question is, what did Jonathan think of your lips when you first got them done? So, I remember I was talking to him about it and I was like, like, are you scared for me to get my lips done? Like, are you going to like them? And he was like, well, I don't really know what to expect. And he didn't really have too much of an opinion because he was kind of just like iffy and he didn't really know what, was gonna, what they were going to look like. And I got home and I was like, 
hey. And this is when they were really swollen and he's like, holy shit. I was like, don't worry, they'll go down in a few days. <laughs> but now I think, actually I haven't really asked him, but I'm pretty sure he likes him now. Because you, you can't even really tell that much of a difference. They just look more plump, so... You better bloody like them. The next question I kind of have touched base on, but I do want to bring it up again just because I do find it really important. It is, how did you pick your doctor and sort out which ones you trusted and which ones you didn't? So, what I did is I went on Instagram and just saw like before and afters of this place just because I wanted to see what the final result looked like on other people. So, I decided to go to the Australian Skin Clinic in Indrapilly and this specific lady in there, um, what's it called, specializes in like natural looking lips. So as I said before, I'll leave her name down below, but I do think it's very important to do the research because you don't want your lips looking wonky because they do last about six months. So for example, the place where Kurt got his lips done before where he gets them done now, that was really confusing. Um, they made his top lip bigger than his bottom lip, which kind of makes it all look unproportioned and unnatural and he hated it. So yeah, you just gotta be really careful where you go. The next question is, are they what you expected them to be like? I honestly didn't think they would look this good. Um, the lady made my cupid's bow a little bit bigger, so I find that applying lipstick, my lips look a bit nicer with that beautiful cupid's bow. But yeah, I just didn't think they would look this natural. I, I thought they would look a tiny bit fake, but nope. But I would say that they did exceed my expectations of what they were going to look like. I'm so happy. <laughs> I should really shut up about how much I love them now. People are going to be like, you're so obsessed with them. Well, yeah. Is it strange to drink or eat or is there no difference? The only thing that was weird was like putting my lips on a cup and being like, oh my gosh, they're so much bigger. And then I'd kind of like dribble down the side of my face. It was just like getting used to the size difference at the start that was a little bit difficult. Um, and I'm also finding it, this is really weird, but I'm also finding it a little bit harder to speak because my lips, they are a lot bigger and... I don't know, I always find myself like, <laughs> for example, over the past like few days, I have noticed myself really stuffing up my words because my lips get stuck together, because I'm still not used to them yet, but I'll get there. What made you want lip injections? I would just say the main reason is I'd always find myself overdrawing my lips so incredibly much, and you could see the big overdraw line, and it just didn't look natural at all, so I was like, hey, why not just pop a little bit of sugar in your lips to make them bigger. There was no one specifically that made me want to get my lips done, but I would say that they encouraged me to get them done. Like, I was watching Amanda Enseg and her lips just look super natural. I did want them done before I watched all these people's videos, but they kind of like, made me feel like it's not going to hurt too much. So just, just do it. If that's what you want, just do it. The next question is, how long have you wanted to get them done? Um, probably about like four or so months, but the month before I got them done, I was thinking about them every single day and I was like, do I really need this? Do I really want this? Is this going to make me happy? Is this what I want? And I literally would just obsess over the thought and I was like, you know what? After that month of thinking about it so much, I was like, I'm just going to go get it. Someone said, they are fucking ugly. XO, XO. If you guys didn't see my lips before, you would not be able to notice a difference. They're not noticeably big and swollen looking. Um, but obviously everyone has their own opinion on lip injections because you are, at the end of the day, changing what your natural face and features look like. How did your friends and family react when you told them you wanted lip injections? Um, everyone was pretty fine about it. My dad wasn't too fond of me getting my lips done, but now that he's seen them, he doesn't really mind too much. He can notice a difference. Obviously, he's been raising me for, what, 18 years, and he can really pick up on the size difference. My mum has had her lips done before and she wants me to buy her thumb for Christmas. Hey mum, I'm just going to buy you some lips. No, um, I said I'd book her in for her Christmas present. So obviously she was very supportive of that. Um, but yeah, everyone was fine. I didn't really care because it's not their lips, it's mine. Could you ever imagine yourself with your natural lips again? When I look back at old photos, I really just don't like what my lips look like before. Now that I have bigger, more plump, natural looking lips, I just... I just couldn't see myself going back to that, and I just don't want to. The last question is, are you going to get anything else done? I know a lot of people say, once you get your lips done for the first time, you're, you're going to be addicted and you're going to get everything else done, but I'm happy with just my lips. I like everything else on my face, and I'm not going to get anything else done. So, there you go. Don't have to freak out, because I know everyone's anti-change of face, anti-breathing. Holy crap, look how white my hands are. They're only tanned up here, so I'm like... But anyways, there we have my lip injections q and I hope you guys found this video helpful or at least interesting. Um, as I said, I'm not condoning lip injections. If you do want to get it done though, go for it. It's amazing. Just make sure you find the right doctor. 
Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you very soon.